Hello, this is Hildron101010 from the Computer Clan on thecomputerclan.com, and I have a demo of Windows 3.1 to show you. This demo was done on the latest live stream from today. It was pretty cool. We did some nice things with Windows 3.1, and if you want to watch that recording, you can go to our Ustream page, and we will probably demo it again in the future on future live streams. But what I'm going to do for you now is going to be a little bit different. Where I'm going to be able to show a little bit more than I was able to show on the stream. So let's get started. Let's get VMware Fusion open here. And select the Windows 3.1 virtual disk. And let's start it up. Full screen. Because we just have to have it full screen, even though the resolution it really doesn't support that. All right, starting MS-DOS. All right, yeah, yeah. You're probably wondering, why does it say starting GLaDOS version 1.07? Well, I'm a Portal fan, so I put that in there. And I will show you how to put that stuff in there, too. So it's pretty funny. You can put any message you want in there. And then it says press any key to continue, so we will do that. I just got to find the any key. And um, the any key is somewhere on here. Oh, it's right there. All right. All right, Microsoft Windows 3.1 Sound Blaster error. Whoopie-doo. All right. So here we have the Program Manager. This is basically the start menu of Windows 3.1. It is very bad compared to the you know modern way Microsoft has their software launcher, which is the start menu. But this is basically what you used in Windows 3.1. Uh, this is the main applications window. It has the primary apps such as the MS DOS prompt, uh, you know, control panel to change settings, and the file manager to uh, view your files. It's just like the Explorer of today. Only the Explorer of today is a little bit neater. Uh, but this is how it was back then. Um, the you have the the file system tree right here with folders and you got all your files in this nice very awesome view right there alright so to close a window you have to click on this menu and hit close or do control F4 and it says control F4 which I don't know why it really says that because it's alt F4 well, let's see if control works nope doesn't do it all doesn't do it at all so it's really alt F4 yeah that, that's a bug I don't know if that was there in the first version of the Windows operating system or it's just a virtual machine thing. All right, so yeah, that was the final manager control panel. Um, it's um, just a window of a bunch of control panels you can change. Oh, let's say like the desktop. Here are the desktop settings. You can change the wallpaper by clicking this little arrow and you can change one like winlogo.bmp. Press the OK button. And there you have the Windows logo. Let's just minimize this and minimize that. And then there's your wallpaper. So let's restore this, and you can double click on it, or single click to get a menu. And when we're done, we can obviously just close this like that. And we can restore this window. And let's do the editing that I was going to show you on how to get that uh, startup information, real or fake. It's still pretty cool to have on there. So we'll open up the MS-DOS prompt, all right? And we will change the directory, cd.. Dot dot. That's what you type in. Then you type edit. Now, before I do that, let me just make the point that make sure it says C colon forward slash because that's what CD dot dot will do. We'll change the directory to C. So make sure it says C. All right, so edit space auto exec dot bat and hit enter. And now we have the auto exec dot bat editor. As you can see, we use um, oh, the cursor to navigate through this. If I, there we go. There it is. Um, right here echo starting glados version 1.07 this is where you can type your custom message and the rest of the uh, files are in here as well like pause this is what makes the dos prompt say press any key to continue so every time there's a pause command that will say press any key to continue and win makes it uh, start up the operating system so yeah that's editing the auto executable file and to get out of here we'll press alt to get control of the menu and just go to exit and make sure you save it when you need to make uh, changes. So we'll just exit, and then we'll type exit another console and be brought back to the desktop. Awesome. So what other cool things you can do with Windows uh, 3.1? Well, we have Paint, which if you go to the Windows menu, you can go to um, uh, Accessories, I think it's in. There you go. Paintbrush. And here you have an old version of Paint. You can do some drawing things in here. It'll draw a square and get the... Uh, gee, I have no idea how to work this thing. Uh, do I click this? I have no idea. I'm just yeah, yeah, you get the idea. What a beautiful picture! Uh, you can actually save these if you want to, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll just uh, ignore those changes. 
Um, media player. I don't think that really works in here. Nah, I didn't think so. Clock. Yeah, this is pretty epic. I don't think I really ever... Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do it like this, or you can have it full screen. Well, not full screen, but like in a window. Or you can maximize it by pressing the up arrow, or you can minimize it, and then it's like a little tile down here, which you can move around. So it's like a little desktop icon. Or you can uh, click on it and hit close. That's pretty cool. Uh, we also have Windows Write. So we can type some stuff in here, like, hello, uh, lorem ipsum, you know, etc. You can uh, select this. Um, yeah, that keyboard shortcut's not working too well. Uh, let's go, um, let's drag a thingy over this. Go to, frick, I never really use this. Uh, don't think you can change the font here. Can you change the font in here? Oh, character. Um, enlarge. Enlarge. Oh, wait, maybe we can go to fonts here. Yeah, maybe choose a font. All right, let's do career, regular, 15. And there you go. You basically change the font. Pretty complicated compared to modern systems. All right, close that. Uh, notepad, of course. You still basically have that in Windows. Pretty basic. Pretty useful, though. And, oh, games. Yeah, got to do this. Minesweeper and Solitaire. Um, uh, I, I haven't messed around with the commands that much, but I do know... I don't know if this one came with it or if I customized it, I kind of forgot, but if you go to run, you can uh, type in soul.exe and that will be your solitaire executor. So you can play solitaire here. Wow, I started off pretty well here. Two aces already, awesome. And you can um, close this. I don't know if it'll save though. Let's see if it saves. I never really tested that. So close, open it back up. Nope, doesn't save. That's pretty stupid, but it saves now anyway in the modern version of Solitaire. And we got Minesweeper, of course, which uh, hasn't changed much because it's the same basic idea. I'm just going to randomly click around here. I'm not even going to pay attention. Yeah, pay attention to what I'm doing. So you can close this and close that. So there you go, uh, Windows 3.1. Um, basically it of course there's more you can do on here there's quite a few programs pre-installed some I don't even know what the heck they do but you get the idea you can experiment with this with yourself or with you can play solitaire whatever you want to do just do whatever just get the virtual disk image or an ISO or a CD put it in VMware Fusion or your favorite emulator or whatever the heck you want to use I just use VMware Fusion just because that's the virtual software I have all right, so when you're done, you would do exit Windows, and it'll say, this will end your Windows session, and hit OK. And you are returned to the DOS prompt, which um, you could probably actually use again, type win, and it'll bring you back into the system. And we can then again just close it. Actually, if you close the program manager, it'll actually also end your session and bring you back to the prompt. I don't think you can exit from here. No, I can't exit from here. But you can still use it as the normal... Uh, command line and to go back and do it of course you can just do um, win and you'll go back into the system alright so let me just shut this down alright and that is a little tour of Microsoft Windows 3.1